Thanks for staying with us here at 330. As people continue to clean up storm damage, many of you have questions about how to begin the recovery process or really where to turn for help. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit is looking into what you need to know when applying for federal disaster assistance. I got the worst damage on the whole street here. Not one, but two trees came crashing down on Senior Lewis's front yard. Roof, it came in and the truck got smashed by the tree. He was at work when Hurricane Ian came through Bartow Wednesday night. When the sun came up, Lewis was able to see the full destruction Ian caused. My family's, you know, is, is, is here. We alive. We still here in spite of everything. So. I'm very, very grateful. People like Lewis who have storm damage may be able to turn to federal aid. 17 counties are now eligible for FEMA assistance after Hurricane Ian, but experts say homeowners should first reach out to their insurance provider. The assistance from FEMA is limited by, by law, so it's not going to make you whole. It'll start to get you back on your feet, give you perhaps uh, funds to be able to, to find a place to stay, but it won't be complete. If you have insurance, call your insurance company now. Carlos Castillo has worked for FEMA as the assistant administrator for recovery. He tells me residents can apply for assistance through disasterassistance.gov, the FEMA mobile app, or by calling the FEMA helpline. A lot of different programs under the individual assistance umbrella by FEMA which includes, uh, it could be uh, assistance, rental assistance for temporary housing, could be temporary repairs um, or loss of other, other belongings at your home, funeral assistance, there's disaster unemployment assistance. Castillo advises to have your records on hand if you still have them and take photos of damages to your home and belongings. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.